Okay, this is day... This is Friday, day five after surgery. Um, pretty eventful night. Had a lot of stabbing knee pain through the night. Just could not get my leg in a comfortable position. Every way I moved and turned it, it still hurt. And, and then got a got an itch. Uh, some for some reason, the skin just started itching, getting irritated, and uh, could not get find a find a comfortable position all night. So toss and turn and deal with pain all night with the and also taking the pain medicine. Um, not a great night. Um, could not wait until the time to get up <laughs> out of the bed, hoping that my pain would also be less when I was up, but it wasn't. When I got up, the pain was still intense and had to take another dose of the medicine, take me some breakfast, and sit down here and let it calm down. And so that's pretty much been the routine for the last two or three days is pain uh, pain through the night of with the management of the pills and average, you know, with the average of the pain staying with the with the highs and the lows, the average being around standard pain staying around in the six range. Uh, and then uh, getting up during the day and pain going down to four when I'm seating till prolonged seating to getting up to the bathroom and it going up to about an eight. So same thing during the day. Uh, overall average pain for the day is about a six. Um like I said, it's manageable, um, not desirable. So anytime you can feel less pain, you'd much rather have less pain so that you can do more things. Because uh, if my pain was less, I would. St- there's a lot of things that I would still try to do around my house up on the crutches on one leg. But since my pain is, is too extreme, the longer I stand, the more it gets. It almost feels as if, almost like somebody's taking and pulling at that joint I had a repair done and it's not comfortable so as soon as I can get to a place to sit down and get it propped up and get back to normal that's kind of what I've been doing uh, been trying to eat and take my supplements and trying to get everything give my body what it needs to heal uh, the process will take as long as it did the last time but hopefully it'll be a stronger and a better a better uh, rehab than the last time before I promised you guys I was going to try to get a shave and and that goes to show you that uh, my pain hasn't been where I can even get up and stand up on it long enough to, to uh, I don't have a chair comfortable enough where I can sit in so if I stand I have to shave so I haven't even got that done so <laughs> I guess when I really start to feel somewhat better then I'll my presentation will be a little better too but Hopefully it's just as you guys get to see what I'm going through and kind of get an idea of what it is. Uh, as I tell my wife and I tell other people, uh, everybody's different. The level of what you will experience will be different because uh, we're just different and we're used to different things. Um, I don't consider myself tough and, de- and a person that can tolerate a lot of pain. Uh, however, some others have said I have a lot of pain tolerance but I don't think so I think me and pain don't go together very well (laughs) if I have a choice not to hurt then I'd rather not hurt but um, I'm still blessed in it all and I think I'm uh, I I feel I feel more well in my spirit even though my body is not there yet and you know spirit and mind they go together so hopefully I get to see I'm hoping by the end of this week and going into next week that there's a uh of a measurable difference that in in what I'm able to tolerate and what what I'm feeling to to have to tolerate and and I can do some things um but I'm going to keep you people keep you keep you posted and you guys stay in and and um this is actually my first video on this but I, I plan on having a site up and doing other videos and and hopefully we can do some interacting and uh do some uh uh speaking uh, about different things uh, you know as you know I'm a 
personal trainer, been a personal trainer, retired bodybuilder for years. Uh, actually was going to go on stage again this year until this happens. And it's going to really set back my progress on the leg that I've had injured because I'm not able to train it to keep the my symmetry and balance good. So uh, probably not going to be able to. Who knows? Who knows? It may still be able to. I did last time, but who knows? Um, talk about general nutrition, the aging process, and how we can uh, take better care of our bodies as we age because it's a little different when you get 40 years old as compared to being less than 40 when you're about how your body responds and how it re, uh, how you bounce back from things and how it tolerates and a whole lot of different things. And we're going to be talking about that on some videos in the future. We're going to set up a website so you guys can subscribe and we can have those conversations and we can get to a, a whole level of wellness together. Uh, thank you for joining in. And uh, I'll be back fill you guys in if not later tonight with a video it'll be tomorrow day six on saturday have a blessed day thank you for tuning in